from Farmers Branch City Hall. Hello everyone and welcome to Council Countdown, where if you give us just a few minutes, we're going to bring you a rundown of everything you need to know for the next City Council meeting agenda. I'm Tom Bryson with this Council Countdown for the upcoming City Council meeting of Tuesday, August 2nd, 2016. First up on the agenda, after ceremonial items and a report on study session, members of the Council will consider items placed on the consent portion of the agenda. Consent items are items to be considered with action taken that may not need individual explanation or discussion during the meeting. There are five items on the August 2nd consent agenda. Agenda item G1 is to consider approval of the minutes of the City Council meeting held on July 12th. Item G2 is to consider approving resolution number 2016-055, reappointing Faye Moses Wilkins to the Dallas Area Rapid Transit Board of Directors. Members of the DART Board of Directors serve staggered two-year terms pursuant to Section 452.578 of the Texas Transportation Code. Faye Moses Wilkins was appointed to represent the City of Farmers Branch in 2014 and has recently been elected chair of the DART Board. Her term of office expired June 30th, therefore Ms. Wilkins is seeking reappointment. This item was tabled from prior City Council meetings in order to allow Ms. Wilkins the opportunity to meet with City Council members. With her reappointment, her new term will expire June 30th, 2018. City Administration recommends approving resolution number 2016-055. Item G3 is to consider approving resolution number 2016-065, approving the 2016-17 operating budget of the North Dallas County Water Supply Corporation. The North Dallas County Water Supply Corporation was created in 1991 through an interlocal agreement with the Town of Addison for the purpose of financing and constructing a sanitary sewer system tunnel to serve the east side of the city and the Town of Addison. The corporate bylaws required that the corporation's board of directors adopt an annual budget and that the city councils of Farmers Branch and Addison both approve that adopted budget. The board, which consists of three staff members from the City of Farmers Branch and three staff members from the Town of Addison, conducted a public meeting to approve the budget on July 18th, and all members voted unanimously to approve. City Administration recommends approving resolution number 2016-065. Item G4 is to consider approving resolution number 2016-068, authorizing an interlocal agreement between the City of Farmers Branch and Dallas County for Health and Human Services. This interlocal agreement establishes and coordinates health services for city residents which are operated through Dallas County. Some of the services offered include immunizations for Farmers Branch residents, a well child clinic, communicable disease control services, laboratory services, and senior citizen health care services. The city's portion of the cost is based on population. The current contract expires on September 30th due to the many cities that Dallas County provides contractual services and the varying time frames for the approval process Dallas County will continue services on October 1st. The total cost for services for fiscal year 2016-17 will not increase from the previous year's amount of $6,856. There are no other changes in the proposed contract. Funds are available in the Environmental Health Services Operating Budget. City Administration recommends approving resolution number 2016-068. Agenda item G5 is to consider adopting resolution number 2016-069, awarding the bid for the Cooks Creek Gabion repair at Fike Road to ARC Contracting Services, LLC. The City Council adopted Ordinance number 3299 in September of 2014, establishing a municipal drainage utility system, which establishes drainage fees that help support the operations of the City's drainage utility system. Grant funding obtained through the Federal Emergency Management Agency resulted in a check in the amount of $31,469 to make these repairs on Cooks Creek. As the bids were higher than anticipated, new information will be submitted to FEMA to request the additional funding based on the actual bids. In order to repair the damage done by previous storms, the municipal drainage utility system will fund the balance to proceed with this project. Any additional grant funding received will be credited back to the, muni to the municipal drainage utility system. The 2015-16 municipal drainage utility system operating budget and grant funds from FEMA are available for this project to repair the failed Gabion structure along the south side of Fike Road at Cooks Creek. Two bids were received and opened on July 19th. The lowest uh, qualified bid was received from ARC Contracting Services in the amount of $170,788. ARC Contracting Services has provided adequate references for similar projects, and contract time for this project is 45 calendar days. 
City Administration recommends approving resolution number 2016-069. And that was it for the consent agenda. Here are the other regular session items for the council at their regular session at the upcoming meeting. Item H1 is to conduct a public hearing and to consider adopting ordinance number 3381 approving a specific use permit for a commercial indoor amusement facility located at uh, 4372 Spring Valley Road. Item H2 is to conduct a public hearing and consider adopting ordinance number 3382 amending the site plan to the specific use permit for a private school including athletic facilities granted by ordinance number 2879 to Parish Episcopal School to provide for the addition of a multipurpose activity center, performance hall center, and soccer field at the existing 4101 Sigma Road location. Item H3 is to conduct a public hearing and to consider adopting ordinance number 3383, amending the regulating plan for street types of the Plan Development District number 86 station area code. Agenda item H4 is to conduct a public hearing and, and to consider approving resolution number 2016-066, approving a townhome development located at the northern portion of the block between B, Vintage, and Goodland Streets. Item I-1 is to consider approving resolution number 2016-070, authorizing the city manager to execute an agreement for aerial spraying with Dallas County in the event that there is an imminent threat to public health. Item I-2 is to consider approving resolution number 2016-067, approving a First Amendment to the project-specific agreement with Dallas County relative to the Marsh Lane Bridge Project. And Agenda Item I-3 is to consider adopting a motion to place a proposal to consider adopting a maximum property tax rate of 60.56 cents on the September 20th Council Agenda and schedule two public hearings on the proposed maximum rate on the August 16th and September 6th Agendas. The council may also recess into closed session, but will then reconvene into regular session to take any necessary action. And that will do it for the August 2nd agenda. Every regular meeting of the Farmers Branch City Council can be seen live on FBTV. That is Time Warner Cable Channel 16 and Farmers Branch, AT&T UVerse, Channel 99 throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex or online at FarmersBranchTX.gov. This City Council information program will be made available simultaneous to the agenda posting on the Friday before each regular City Council meeting and will air prior to the live meeting, as well as before all Council meeting replays here on FBTV. The replay schedule is at 6 p.m. seven days a week. In the meantime, the August 2nd meeting of the City Council starts at 6 p.m. Tuesday evening here at Farmers Branch City Hall. We hope to see you here. Until then, for everyone here in the studio, I'm Tom Bryson. You're watching Council Countdown on FBTV. We'll see you next time.